students now we will see few more uh, problems uh, where uh, the distance between n projectors is given we know that uh, the n projectors are uh, two parallel lines and uh, on first n projector we will have a dash and a and uh, second n projector we will have b dash and b so with this clue uh, we need to uh, proceed in this type of problems so this is the problem statement a line pq has one of its extremities 15 mm above hp right so one end is 15 mm above hp and uh, extremities is nothing but ends only 10 mm in front of vp so that is the p distance the q is 55 mm above hp and the line is inclined at 30 degrees to hp so uh, the end the distance between the end projectors of the line when measured parallel to the line of intersection of hp and vp is 50 mm so the distance between end projectors is given so that is 50 mm so with this we need to find the uh, projections of the line and for true length a uh, true inclination with vp so true inclination with vp only so that is uh, we need to find uh, phi right so true length and phi we need to find here so this is uh, the xy reference line and uh, one extremity is 15 mm above hp and another one is uh, 10 mm right so this is 10 mm in front of vp so we have p dash and uh, the corresponding top view projection is p and uh, we have one more extremity so the 55 so 55 mm above hp so that is q uh, q dash is at 55 mm above hp so this is this is your locus of q dash so this is the locus of q dash so here the uh, angle is given 30 degree so that is the theta degree theta angle is given 30 degree so p dash q and dash you can obtain directly right and also we know the distance between end projectors is 50 mm so this is the distance uh, end projector distance so that is 50 mm so uh, with this right with this clue we can easily solve this problem right so this is the p dash and q q1 dash already obtained we have to project this up to the locus of p right fixed line so this is our q1 q1 so we know that if we rotate p and q1 we will get q right final q so this is the rotation direction of rotation and q p as center p q1 as radius rotate and get q so this is the final q so the corresponding line passing through that point is known as locus of q right so this is point q this is your uh, top view and now uh, automatically you can get the front view front view also right so this is q dash you can rotate it in, in reverse direction so you are rotating in reverse direction so that is very important students and uh, here with this right q2 dash you can you can drop down up to locus of q right you will get q2 right this is your q2 this is your pq2 so if you are getting pq2 uh, there ends your problem right you you are getting all the uh, data and uh, this is your true length so true length you should measure and you should uh, write here i am getting 79 mm and this phi angle is 37 degree right so uh, please cross check this answer and uh, let me know next problem of uh, the same kind the distance between end projectors is 50 mm right the end a of the line ab is 15 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp the other end is 50 mm above hp and 65 mm in front of vp so both ends distance are given is given here and also the uh, distance between end projectors is 50 mm draw the projections and find true inclinations and true length of the line so true length and theta phi we need to find so it is again very simple problem all data is given except angle and the true length and uh, very easily we can find because we know the uh, in front of and uh, uh, above hp of both the ends right so this is uh, the 15 mm above hp and uh, 20 mm in front of vp we have one end right one end and uh, another end is 50 mm above hp 
and uh, 65 mm in front of VP. So both ends, right? We, we know where they are located. And now the distance between end closure torch is given 50 mm, right? So this is 50 mm. So here, this is the first point. So this is our A dash, and this will be our uh, BEA, right? The top view of A, and uh, this is the B dash. So B dash and this will become our B, right? This will become our B. So we are getting final projections first. So we have to proceed in reverse order uh, in our procedure and we need to find the true length as well as our true inclinations both, right? So now A dash B, B dash, right? If we rotate, this will be our B2 dash. So if B2 dash should be uh, drop down up to the locus of B. So this will become our true length line. So B2. So A B2 is the true length line. So either you can proceed from here. You can you can proceed in any way, right? So there are uh, two ways to proceed here, right? So one way is we can rotate it and we can get it. Otherwise, we know the true length. So we can cut the arc and we can proceed. So any way we can do. And I am I am proceeding in the uh, same uh, same reverse order. Right, so I am rotating this A B and I am getting the B1 B1 point. So this is my B1 dash. So B1 dash, and if I join A dash and B1 dash, this will become my true length line. So this is the true length line. I should measure and I, I, I have to measure theta and I need to measure phi. So I am getting 77 mm true length, 26 degree as theta, 30, 36 degree as my phi, phi angle. So this is my answer. So please cross check this answer and, uh, and if you have any deviation, please let me know. So this is 19th and next we have 20th uh, problem. The distance between end projectors passing through the uh, end points of a line AB is 60 mm. So here also the distance between end projectors is given 60 mm. The end A is 15 mm above HP. The end A is 15 mm above HP and uh, 10 mm in front of VP. So 15 and 10. The end B is 35 mm in front of VP and the line AB appears 70 mm long in front view. So front view distance is given and the distance between end projectors is also given. So complete the projections by rotating line method and find the true length of the line and true inclinations with HP and VP. So here the front view is uh, given, the front view distance is also given. So in the same reverse order, uh, we can get it, right? So the distance between end projectors is 60 mm, right? 60 mm, uh, so first point is 15 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. So I'm getting A dash and A straight away, right? Straight away, so I know that the end B right in front of vp at 35 mm right the nb is 35 mm in front of vp right 35 mm so i get my locus of b so this is the final top view so straight away i am getting final top view right and the front view is given right so on the same projector i will have my b dash also so the front view is 60 mm right the front view is 60 mm sorry 70 mm long, right? 70 mm long in front view. So front view is 70 mm long. So A dash and B dash is 70 mm. So this is 70 mm. So if I get my front view, now I got my final front view, final top view. So now you can go in reverse order and we can rotate, you can rotate it and you can get the, the true length as well as true inclinations, right? So this will become my locus of B dash and rotate it, you will get a B2 dash. So if you project it up to B, locus of B, you will get the true length. So A, B2 is your true length and rotate it and project it up to locus of B. So this is your B1 dash. So draw a thin line. So this is your B1 dash. So measure true length here, right? True length here and, and uh, you can show as your answer theta and phi also. I am getting true length 75 mm, theta equal to 29 degree, phi equal to 20 degree, right? So this is the 20th problem. And uh, we will see uh, one problem of uh, uh, theta plus phi equal to 90 degree 
uh, kind right so we know that the theta plus phi equal to 90 degree we can solve that problem if the theta plus phi is greater than 90 it is impossible to solve the problem and the theta plus phi is lesser than 90 we can solve that problem right so now we will uh, see one problem of this kind theta plus phi equal to 90 degrees so a line rs 65 mm long has its end r 15 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp the end is inclined at 55 degrees to hp and 35 degrees to vp and now theta plus phi equal to 90 degrees once you see this answer theta plus phi equal to 90 wherever you find this criteria under this case the projections will be on single projector remember this the projections the final projections a dash and b dash that is the front view the top view its corresponding top view is a and b both will lie on the single projector on the same projector so that is the uh, one uh, one blind rule you can remember with which you can cross check your answer very easily right so theta plus phi equal to 90 degree kind so 15 mm in front of vp and 15 mm above hp so this is your a da r dash and uh, r right so this is uh, the angle 35 degrees to vp and 55 degrees to hp so that is uh, given in the problem so r s2 and we can proceed here also r dash and uh, s1 dash so this is uh, the locus of s s dash and this is the locus of s right so now this r s2 right so this s2 should be projected up to the fixed line so this is uh, s2 dash and if you rotate here it will come and intersect here right so similarly if you rotate here right it is a straight line so just draw a drop down a line up to locus of r you rotate this and you can see it will intersect here the final top view r s is a straight line right so now you can cross check your answer it is we are proceeding from uh, the first step to fifth step steps are usual right but only difference between other problems and this problem is we are getting on single projector the final front view on top view we are obtaining on single projector that is only the difference so this is the 21st uh, problem and uh, uh, we will see a few more uh, types of problems also